Welcome back to another episode from Sanders Wildlife. Today I want to show you a rescue involving a king snake in landscape netting. I have been involved with quite a few snake calls in my years working as a wildlife operator, but one call I have often saw is an animal entangled in poly nest netting. This netting is used for a number of common landscaping projects and can really tangle up an unsuspecting animal. For example, these two rat snakes were found entangled during their mating rituals. This couple was released back into the wild after their rescue, with thankfully little to no damage. Unfortunately for our king snake, she was in quite a mess. I arrived at the call to find a full-grown gravid king snake wrapped up in landscape netting. A gravid snake means the snake is carrying little ones in her belly. This particular snake is known as an eastern king snake and can lay eggs opposed to giving live birth. Roughly 70% of all snakes reproduce by laying eggs, with the exception of vipers, rattlesnakes, boas, and sea snakes. I started to slowly cut the snake out of the tangled mass, and upon the commotion, the snake was quick to let me know she was not a happy mama. I received a bite to my index finger. It is also to be noted, the snake was clearly provoked by myself, it would have never bitten me if I had not approached it first. Luckily king snakes are non-venomous, and as long as I treat it and clean the wound to prevent infection, I was going to be just fine. I ended up deciding to cut out the snake from the yard and take her home to slowly untangle her in a calmer setting. At this point she had calmed down quite a bit and was allowing me to work around her freely with no more biting incidents. King snakes are typically docile creatures, but even the most docile creature will become aggressive when cornered and carrying offspring. Slowly I began to unravel the snake. This process took me a bit of time due to the entangled web created by the polynetting. I was eventually able to free her completely and decided to hold her overnight for hydration and rest. I awoke the next morning to release the snake to find she had laid her eggs. Due to the circumstances, these eggs had little chance to make it. But to give them their best chance of survival, they were taken to Chattahoochee Nature Center and were left with the Urban Kings Project. The Urban Kings Project is a citizen science endeavor working to understand eastern king snakes in Metro Atlanta and how they are affected by urbanization. The report back from the Urban Kings where the eggs had gone bad, most likely due to the high stress situation. These eggs have since been placed in the King Snake exhibit at the Natural Museum of History in Athens, Georgia. King snakes and snakes in general are amazing creatures that get a bad rep. The service they provide to our ecosystem is crucial for it to remain healthy. All snakes help in keeping insect and rodent populations in check, but typically the most favorable feature comes from the king snake species, which are known to eat venomous snakes with ease. This king snake was released back into the wild to live out its life and hopefully reproduce offspring again. Although we always re-release our snakes no matter its venomous status, it is illegal to kill any non-venomous species in the state of Georgia, per state law. When dealing with snakes, if you do not provoke them or enter their immediate territory, your chances of getting bit are next to none. We are happy to help the homeowner and the snake in this situation, and hopefully one day people can see just how important snakes are to the world we live in. Thanks for watching another episode from Sanders Wildlife. If you want to see more videos like these, please like, share, and subscribe. For now, I'm Brandon Sanders. Until next time.